What is going on YouTube? Today, I wanna to talk to you about a new tool that I got in the shop. And I wanna show you some of the crazy things that we can do with that tool. My name's Andy, this is Cedar River Woodworking, and welcome to the shop. So what are some of the things that I'm gonna be able to do with this tool around the shop? One of them is something like this. This is a puzzle box that has some very precise fittings in it. And uh, we're gonna be able to cut extremely precise things. This has some finger joints, some sliding mechanisms, and it's completely made out of wood. Now, before we get over and I show you exactly what this tool is, I wanna thank all of the members that we have of the channel. We are growing as a community, and I appreciate every one of you that have stopped by. If you're not a part of the community, that's completely okay. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing because that will help us out as well. So let's jump over to the bench and I will show you exactly what this tool is. So here we are over at the bench and this is our new tool. This is a laser engraver by Creality. This is a 40 watt unit that they have provided to me. They reached out and asked me if I could do a video for them. So we will open this guy up and I will show you exactly what's inside of here. So obviously we have our frame, that everything works here. This is... So we got this thing completely put together. It is very, very easy to put together. I have some 3D printers that I've put together before that uh, it is a complete assembly. All they do is flat pack everything and ship it to you. Like I said, there's only a few parts that you need to put on here. You put this silicone tube on top of the laser module, connect it to the air pump, and uh, you're pretty much set. You, you also uh, put the laser module into this nice dovetail track. So this particular module is a 40 watt laser module. Now it's not like other companies that say, oh, it's a 40 watt machine. And what they mean is 40 watts of power consumption. This is actually 40 watts. There's eight laser diodes inside of here that create that 40 watts of power. Now what is also really, really cool about this machine is it is the only one of its kind that has an adjustable laser power directly on the head. They call it a dynamic light spot adjustment. And what essentially it's doing is you can on the fly adjust the power directly at the head if you need to. So you might be asking, Andy, what is this for? Your DIY channel, what, what can I get out of this? Well, I got this mostly because Creality reached out to me, asked me if I could check out their product, let everybody know what I thought of it. And so far I thought it has been a great machine, but for me, what I'm gonna use it for is to make templates. Now this thing can cut up to 20 millimeters of wood, which is incredible. I can make a three quarter inch template, which is completely overkill for anything that I'll ever need. Now it can also cut up to 30 millimeters of black acrylic and it can even cut stainless steel. Now it's about 30 gauge stainless steel, so it's not super thick. Uh, I believe that it is 0.15 millimeters of stainless steel, but for a diode laser, that is incredible. So some of the other things that we are going to be doing is making some plaques. This is a Valentine's Day card that I made. I'm gonna have some of the files and things like that for it on my Etsy store. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. I also have a link for this machine 
down in the description below as well. So little things like these Valentine's Day cards can sell like crazy. You know, I've, I've seen stores on Etsy that have thousands and thousands and thousands of sales just from little trinkets like this on their laser cutter. So if this is another thing that you want to make money with doing woodworking, this is another option that you can do. You can have this running in the background while you're off building something else. So some of the things that I would like to say that are very important about this is safety. You know, in all of my videos, there is safety about everything that I have. I remind you not to put your hand in saw blades and other things like that. I love that they send you some laser goggles to help your eyes out on that. They also have a cover that you can put over top of it. It has fume extraction and it has a tinted lens on the front of it so you can also save your eyes. Speaking of safety, there are three major components on this thing that are for safety on this. They have air monitoring because it has this integral air pump. It can monitor that and make sure that everything's good there. It has flame detection. Because you're burning into wood, you have that possibility to have flames. So it has flame detection and it'll turn off that way. And it also has tilt detection. So if it gets bumped and starts to slide off of a table, it will turn off the machine and make sure that everything's safe so nobody gets hurt by a class four laser. Now think about that. This thing can be dangerous because you can cut wood with this thing. Imagine what will happen if you put your hands or anything like that in front of it. Now let's talk about some of that air assist that we have on here. Like I said, it's integral, but what's so groundbreaking about this is there's an adjustment wheel on the side that you can use to adjust the speed and airflow of your air pump there, but it can also be controlled in some of the softwares that you can use to run these, specifically like Lightburn, is extremely compatible with that program. Now let's talk about the speed of this thing. It can go up to 25,000 millimeters per minute. That means that you can get all of your projects done a lot faster with the speed of this. And the fact that it can run up to 40 watts of power means that it can keep up with that speed through the entire process. So before we get into cutting anything, I can go ahead and set the height of the head with this gauge block here. And it, it's labeled out nice and neat where it says you can engrave or cut from one millimeter to three millimeters all the way down to cutting thicknesses over six millimeter. Now keep in mind, remember this, this can cut up to 20 millimeters of wood and 30 millimeters of black acrylic. So it is a very powerful machine. So making sure you have the right settings is ideal. So we are gonna cut out one of these cards here and uh, I'm gonna take you to a quick time-lapse of that so you can see exactly what it looks like cutting one of these guys. Now, I do have this set up on a honeycomb bed. Uh, that is an extra thing outside of this. Uh, there is a sheet that they give you that is to protect your tabletop. Um, I will also have a link for the honeycomb and the cover and things like that in the video description below. So let's jump down here and I will show you just how this thing cuts. That's right, we made these cards. And like I said, we will have files for this available on our Etsy website. If you do think that you might like this laser, please check out Creality. They have been very gracious on sending this over to us so that we could check it out. And now we can use it around the shop. It won't be featured all the time on this channel, 
because we don't always use things like this, but it is something that you can put in your DIY arsenal to help you make some more money out of your hobby. Now, if you made it this far, let me know. Do you like Happy Valentine's Day or I Choose You better out of these two cards? Now, we'll make them bigger and smaller and things like that as people ask for them, but uh, this is gonna be a really fun tool to have. Anyways, for now, my name has been Andy. This has been Cedar River Woodworking, and we'll see you in the next video.